I'm going to show you how to do the baby flip flops. This is a three to six month sole. Click over and make sure to get that done. Come back. Um, here's my stitch marker. Um, I don't really need it here. So, finish the sole. Now I'm going to slip, slip stitch into the next stitch. Give it like a nice little join like that. Cut the end. I'm just going to pull it through and tighten it just like that. Okay, so from here you're going to pick your second color. And starting anywhere, I kind of like to start on the side because it will leave like a weird stitch. Um, and I like it to be kind of hidden. where I'm working. So I like to start just somewhere, like right here. Make sure you're working through both stitches when you do this part. And you're going to slip stitch all the way around. Okay, now I'm coming around to my um, join. So you're going to work slip stitch right in that stitch. You're going to work it in the join. It kind of helps me to kind of pull the loose one back. And you can see that this is the stitch you need to work on, work in, and this is the stitch you need to work in. So take just take that little top, or I go through both really, but you can just go through the top one. Oops, that's a single crochet. And slip stitch. And then you're going to pull that nice and tight and then work in the next one. Okay, so you're going to work it in that one, the one you started with. Okay, so this is what I do to finish it off. Cut it, pull, pull it through like that, so you have a loose piece, and then come up through your hole and grab one of your starting stitch. Grab the side, the left, the right one. Come up through that, grab your loose one, if I can get it, it's, it's uh, also easier if you want to just thread a yarn needle and push the needle through. So that way I have just kind of put it through that hole and it just looks a lot nicer to do that, you can really hardly tell. So that is the sole, that is the sole piece. So from here you can tie off and we're going to join a second piece. Okay, so here we are for the finished sole. I like to tie off all my ends before I move on from this point. Just tie like a really good knot. Kind of do like a triple granny right there and uh, go in and out and make sure that you get everything really secure. Pull it, make sure that nothing's going to come loose. Um, I mean, just kind of barely tug it. You don't want to <laughs> undo your work, but make sure it's secure. Okay, so here we're going to join a second time. You're going to find the middle of the heel. And I like to just lay my hook. You see that, that seam right there? I just kind of lay my hook on the seam. And find the middle and then count eight to the right. And that's where I'm going to join my yarn. As always, start with a slip knot. And there's different ways to do joins. I don't know. Self-taught, 
it's probably not really a even real way. I just pull it through like that. And then chain one. And then single crochet in the same stitch to get your row going. So from here, I'm going to chain single crochet two. We're working through the slip stitches. Okay, so you're going to actually have three total. You're going to have the first one you did, plus the two after that. From here, we're going to make the heel strap. So you're going to chain eight. No, because it's a heel strap, if that were connected, that would not stay on your baby's foot at all. So because it's a strap, you're going to skip nine stitches. So you're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single crochet into the tenth one. So that has made the heel strap. Now single crochet two. So your connector piece is the same as the other side. So there's a foundation for the heel. Now we're going to single cro or chain 16 because this is going to make the toe strap, which will connect when you're finished. So chain 16. So we're here. Make sure it's not twisted. Just kind of twist the shoe around like that. And slip stitch into your very first stitch. So there. This is the foundation for the slipper, for the flip flop. So you have the, the thong piece right there, the heel right here. So to start the next step, you're just going to do a simple round of single crochets around each one. So chain one, single crochet into same stitch, and then all you're going to do is work single crochets in every single chain, every single stitch to make everything thicker and nicer. Make sure you're working through the chains. Um, I really just grab the first loop in the chain. Um, it's kind of tedious to try to work through both of them every time. You gotta kinda stop and get your hook through. So I just work through the through the top one. And it um and it looks fine. So Okay, and then when you reach the end, you're going to join the slip stitch. And there you go. There's the foundation of everything. And now we just need to attach the toe and do the strap from here. So, t tie off all your edges and then we'll make the strap. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the toe strap. So you want to start with kind of a long tail because you're going to need the tail to sew it on later. So start the slip stitch. You're going to chain four. And remember this is for the three to six month. The zero to three is one stitch shorter. So just use this as a guide and then follow the written pattern for the other sizes. So chain four. 
So we're crocheting into the second chain from hook, single crochet two, and we're gonna turn because we're we're making like just a triangle or a sorry rectangle. It's like a, a washcloth. So you're gonna turn, chain one, single crochet into the same stitch, single crochet one in each stitch. So two. Turn. Okay, so just basically made a long skinny thing. <laughs> okay, so instead of turning on the last row, you're going to single crochet again into that last stitch to kind of make yourself a nice little corner. And uh, single crochet across the top to give it a nice finished edge there. Then when you get to the end, it's kind of weird, but it's there. Single crochet two into it to get that nice corner again. And then single crochet one. And then single crochet two in the next corner to bring you around to the other side. And then single crochet across your neck, your last side. Okay, so that's the strap. Then I just go through the top one. Uh, join with the slip stitch and then uh, just tie it off except I did not leave myself very much so make sure you leave yourself a nice amount to tie it on later okay so that's the toe strap okay now I'm going to show you how to sew on the strap um, I'm going to start with this beginning tail um, Get out your yarn needle and uh, thread it through the, the tail and it's kind of like behind and weird so um, take it through your beginning stitch. I like to use the top five. So you have one, two, three, four, five, kind of that top part and that's what I sew it through. So I'm going to be sewing it through the edge, the gray edge. So um, I'm going to sew it through that one that one, that one, that one, and that one. You can honestly put it wherever you want, wherever you think it looks good. Um, but that's just where I choose to put it. So I'm just going to go in and out with my needle. Is the fifth one so what I like to do is I like to just go right right back over it if you have enough uh, if you have enough yarn might as well just reinforce it ok 
Okay, so that side is sewn on. From here, um, I just like keep going and uh, just get my edge all uh, tied off while I'm at it, while I have it on the needle. So I'll just go a couple down and a couple back up. And for the last one, I kind of go down and uh, over a little bit, so it's down in the right spot. Over a little bit on the shoe, so it's not right by the edge. And then uh, pull it, make sure you got everything secure, and then trim it. So repeat that for the other side. You're just going to use, use this, you're going to line it up with the five, the same five that you used on the other side, go in and out, back across, couple this way, a couple that way to tie it off, and then you can trim your edges, your ends. Okay, so now we are going to attach the thong piece of the flip-flops. Um, get it so that it's kind of turned to where the right side of the stitches are kind of just laying flat. You can kind of manipulate it and get it to lay flat even though it's um, tw twisted. Um, and I like to use the color of the sole. I made several where I used the color of the top and it's fine, it looks fine. It just leaves like kind of an ugly knot because you have to tie it off on the back and um, if it's gray it kind of just blends in better and it just kind of is an ugly knot if you can see the um, other yarn. But um, feel free to do whatever you want as far as that goes. So this is going to be the right one. So when you were making the sole you did seven across right there, so you're going to find the middle one. The middle one is number four, and it's right there. So you're going to do your, um, you're going to sew it on between the next one. So on the right one, you're going to do, on the left shoe, you're going to do it through one stitch right, um, and then on the left one, you're going to do it through one stitch to the left. So you just find the middle, do the stitch to the right or the left of it, um, and I come up through the hole, Go around it once. You don't want to do it too tight because you want you want a little bit of room so their toes can fit and it won't be like a, a tight. Um, you want it to be nice and comfortable. So I'm going to go up once through the right side of it, back down through the left side of the stitch. I'm going to come back up to the right side of it, right side of it, and then this time I'm going to kind of just put it not exactly through the hole but like somewhere so that it's kind of below below so that I can kind of form a V shape like that and then I'm gonna go one more and this time I'm gonna kind of find the middle so I'm not gonna come up through anything any of the holes I'm just gonna kind of come up through the middle um, to kind of finish off the shape of it you can do whatever you want but I kind of liked to have that nice lined shape and then back down somewhere, anywhere, um, just as long as it's below and under, and then pull it tight, and I just do three. Um, I like it to be kind of loose and kind of thin, so that it's not really spreading their toes a ton. If you only have three pieces of yarn between their toe, it's going to be really comfortable for them to wear these. So that's, that's it. You're going to tie up your edges, tie a nice sturdy knot on the back, weave in your ends, and these are the finished shoes. Thanks for watching.